Tap it over to Burkholder. Burkholder had it knocked off his stick by Mueller. Mueller races into the Tiger zone. He's got LeMay with him. His shot kicked out by Emberico. Tigers have numbers coming back the other way. Five on two. Lava over to Weinberg's back to Lava. Lava tried to spin it out in front. Deflects over to Burkholder. He'll send it back to Foley at the blue line. Over to the right circle, Warner. Warner with a shot. That's knocked down out in front. Loose puck in the front of the net. Shot and goal! It's his second power play goal of the weekend at 15:34, And the Tigers have the one nothing lead. Omaha's challenge will play on the ice for goaltender interference. But Omaha is going to challenge for goaltender interference. So the referees will go and watch some video. Schmidt and Nick Pressbach watching the little TV across the way. That goal will count. There's no way that's uh, goaltender interference. Warner took the initial shot and hit Mainburg. Lava had a crack at it. It rolled off the left leg pad of Mikosi right to the stick of Vainbergs, who was just above the blue ice. And he banged it home for the Tiger goal. Vainbergs with his fourth of the year. They keep watching a little TV across the way. Well, they're certainly watching a lot of video over there. That always has me worried. Again, the evidence, the video evidence has, has to be conclusive. If there'd be any concern, it would be possible contact. Well, there wasn't any contact. I was gonna say contact with Simon Lacozzi's left leg pad, which was out of the crease, by the way. The call on the ice was a goal. No, this will certainly take the air out of the building, whether they uphold the goal or not. Well, they've watched enough TV. Let's see what the decision is. After further review, the call now stands. We have a good goal. All right, there we go. I could have saved some time. Listen to me. So, Vainberg gets the goal. His fourth of the season, second of the weekend. And the Tigers have the one nothing lead. Montgomery taking a couple of shots from behind. Will along the wall. Trying to keep it alive for the Tigers. He can't. Now Lansdowne gives it a slipping, slipping. 
Slips it into the Tiger zone. It goes behind the net. Lansdale gets it to, Griff, uh, to Glenn. Glenn taking off the play momentarily. Now the puck in the right circle. Puck comes right up front. Glenn with a backhand as he slid behind the defense and the puck found him. And he backhands it in to tie the game at one. Jimmy Glenn's second goal of the weekend. And a huge goal for Omaha. Glenn. Bremer slid it into the right circle and then a nifty little pass from Lansdell to Glenn. We've got a tie game. Fluke plays it around the boards over to Brock Bremer. Bremer almost lost the puck. He'll feed it back over to Lukey. Griffin Lukey across the CC line. Cross ice pass. Bremer shoots and scores. Bremer trailing the play gets his second of the weekend, and Omaha has the lead. The Mavericks score at 6.39, and that'll give them life. And it gives them the lead. Bremer sixth of the year. And second of the series. Chris Mayotte talking to one of the referees down below. 